Hello everybody and welcome to your angel messages reading. The angels are going to give you a snapshot of something that is going to happen in your very near future. So look at the different photo negatives there and decide which one holds your message. I will start with the first photo negative. There are timestamps listed for all of them below. Hello to everybody who chose the first photo negative. Let's get in and see what is coming in your future. What snapshot of your future do the angels want to give you? All right, so we have Archangel Jophile coming in. All right, and with a message of meditation. So this Archangel is going to lead us through the reading and is also going to work with you after this reading, okay? But um, with this meditation message coming through and this looking at your future, this to me is saying that things are going to start getting into a more steady, smooth vibration okay because this is what is coming this isn't what you need to do to get there this is what's already energetically set up for you so Archangel Jophile is saying that there is a lot of smooth energy and some of you may start meditating in the very near future if you don't know or if you do meditate on the regular something profound is coming to you through a meditation all right, let's pull some more cards. All right, Ascended Masters, devoted spirits with specific intentions. And creation, soul expression, something new, nice. Okay, so right away, um, there is a lot of yellow in your first three cards that have come out, which is solar plexus energy, which is like where you manifest from, okay? Um, creation, something new, meditation, devoted spirit, specific intention. Those of you who are very spiritual and you've been trying to grow your spiritual gift or start like a spiritually based business, in the very near future, you are coming into that energy, okay, where you are like teaching meditation, yoga, um, doing readings, all right, there's something along those lines, um, also very much empowering others. Because with these Ascended Masters, what I feel is this new creation is you being the leader of something, of a group, um, of a movement, of your own business, something along those lines, something you've really been trying to manifest for yourself. And now, boom, it's about to unfold for you. And Archangel Jophile wants you to know that, okay? And um, with that, like these Ascended Masters, those of you who are very spiritually based, you have some high level beings that are working with you and will continue to work with you in the future. And you're going to become more aware of them. And some of you in a future meditation, it's like you're going to meet them for the first time. But here she's growing these daisies. There is a manifestation coming for you guys that you yourself have put into creation this is through your thoughts your actions your words your feelings Yeah, look at that first card out, Ace of Pentacles, Page of Swords, The Hermit, Seven of Swords, do not feel, you're feeling defeated right now, Ten of Wands, 
Like it's never gonna happen. The Empress, but see, it's about ready to birth, okay? And the Seven of Cups. Your imaginings, your hopings, your dreams, your desires, it's manifesting. It absolutely is, okay? And right now, you're kind of in the space of um, losing hope, losing faith, losing belief, and the spirits around you constantly give you signs and synchronicities. But I feel at this point, you just kind of think, oh, it's my own projection, or yeah, whatever. Um, it's like they're showing me your energy is kind of getting very... Like, I just don't care anymore. Like, why am I pursuing this path? Why do I keep trying? Why do I hope? Why do I believe? Why do I feel this calling? Like, you're just really frustrated and angry. And it's like, I don't want to be told to wait anymore. I don't want to be told to do this, to do that. I'm, I'm done with this journey. If I haven't um, done everything I needed to do at this point, then there's just nothing else in me to give, to do, to be, to make this happen. Like it's almost, I feel like you're at the end of your rope and like, I'm tired of dreaming. I'm tired of wishing. I'm tired of trying to manifest. I'm tired of walking this path alone, doing everything that I know to do to be right. Yet I still am empty handed. This burden is still upon me. I've been tricked. I've been deceived. Things have been taken from me. I've had more losses than I've had wins. What are my options? What can I do now? Okay, so that's what this was about. Because I was feeling like a lot of frustration when I started this reading. And then like the cards that came out even irritated me more. Which I felt was very odd. Like why am I feeling like this but then once these came out now I understand it. it's your energy like you're tired of this journey you're tired of being screwed over you're tired of things not going your way let's pull some more tarot It's almost like um, some of you that are uh, trying to do this spiritual work, it's like, you know what, universe, spirit, um, if you want me, if you want me to, to do this work for you, then you need to step up. Like, you're, I feel so much frustration for you, okay? But listen, the Tower, Three of Cups, and the world, there is going to be a big shock turn of events for you in the very near future. And you just, you don't see that yet. Okay, and we had another card. Look at, and now, Ten of Cups. Your Ten of Wands is going to turn into the Ten of Cups. All right, so Ten of Swords, yes, look at that. You are at the end of the hardest part. The the birthing, the manifestation coming through. Three of Pentacles, things finally growing. Queen of Cups, you are so emotionally wise and matured from this journey. Six of uh, Wands, you are going to have victory and success and triumph over this Seven of Swords. Eight of Pentacles, this long journey has taught you a lot. It, look at Ace of Pentacles right there. I said she's about to birth. First thing out was Ace of Pentacles and Queen of Wands. Okay, so you are definitely going to feel better about things very, very soon. Okay, there is this birthing of your creation, of your manifestation. And whether you are a masculine or a feminine, you um, think of a full-term you know, uh, mother about to give birth. She's cranky. Her feet are swollen. She's tired. 
her back hurts. She's tired of having to go to the bathroom every five minutes. She's tired of only being able to eat five bites and then she's full just to be hungry later, like um, 15, 20 minutes later, okay? That's where you're at. You are at the very, very end of this journey. And so you're feeling the weight of everything. I think again of a full term mother um, getting ready to birth the baby. She ain't having anybody's BS drama. She doesn't care. She's hot. She's cranky. She's tired. Everything hurts. She's done with the journey, right? But when it comes time for the birth, she is given a whole uh, new set of energy to, to bring forth the baby into reality, right? To birth the baby. And, and that's where you're at. You are about to go into labor and uh, this manifestation you've been working on is going to birth. And here it is, the Queen of Wands. You getting that extra energy you need to to make it happen. And even though right now you just feel like you're at the end of your rope, it's because you're truly at the end of this journey. And the end of the journey is always that, that hardest, right? When you're just worn out, you're tired, you're done, you're finished, you don't even care anymore. You're like, I don't care if this happens or that happens. I'm done, I'm tired, I'm cranky. If you're coming to the end, so you're also going to be coming into a period of refresh and renewal. All right, and this Ace of Pentacles, this could be money, this could be your spiritual gift, this is a creation of yours. And as this is a general read, where does this really resonate, what I'm saying? Because that's where you're about to have the breakthrough and then beautiful growth very quickly on top of that, okay? Blessings are coming. Release. This journey is coming to an end. Okay. It's been long. It's been grueling. But you've been growing something very special inside of you. And it's about to birth. It's about to manifest. And it's going to feel like such a blessing to you and you're going to be able to release this ten of swords this ten of wands beloved prepare for your life partner Romance is returning to your relationship. Believe you are lovable. Some of you, this manifestation is a romance coming into your life. Courage. You are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. Don't let the length of the journey, the landscape of the journey, make you fearful, afraid, or want to give up. Celebration. A positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success. Enjoy your achievements. Okay. So um, with the pinnacle, that is something that is tangible, that is physical. Okay. And the majority of you, that is how this blessing is going to unfold in your life. However, some of you, this is a romantic partnership that's finally... <clears throat> coming in to your life, into your world, after you've been doing a lot of work on yourself to call this relationship, this love, into your life. But release fear, release sadness, release thoughts of this, you know, I'm never going to make it, I'm never going to achieve, I'm never going to accomplish. Let all of that go. Because the angels are saying, you're just about there. And remember, this is a snapshot of your very near future, where now you're feeling blessed. Why? Ace of Pentacles. 
finally the manifestation happening or finally this uh, loving romantic partnership is coming into your life all right so those are your messages i am sending you lots of love and light take care Hello to everybody who chose the second photo negative. Let's get right into your reading and see what the angels want to reveal about your future. We've got Archangel Jophiel coming in with liberation. And this Archangel is going to lead the reading and bring forth all the information and messages. But in your very new, near future, you are experiencing a liberation of some kind. All right, so let's pull more cards and call upon this Archangel to give you signs, give you synchronicities, give you more information. All right, because this archangel is not only leading this reading, but is also working with you through the finale of what's coming through in this reading. Okay, so let's pull some more cards. Elementals, nature, spirit, spirits. The four elements, yeah, things are fusing, coming together for you, and angels of the chakras, power, truth, and connection. Oh my goodness, so you've got all of the archangels working with you, okay? However, and look at what's next is connections. We're going to keep this out because I feel for many of you, um, just because we have this liberation and then like all elements coming together and then um, we have connection and then over here our partners contract commitment very next card for you guys a uh, snapshot number two this is talking about a relationship in your life where you are um, in the very near future going to feel quite liberated around this connection it's like all things are balancing out for you so this could be existing or this could be a new connection coming in for you that is a very beautiful balanced friendship or romantic partnership but relationships in general are going to be better for you guys in the very near future Nine of Cups, look at that. This is a wish coming true around a relationship for you. Page of Wands. Six of Swords. And Four of Pentacles. Okay. Somebody is going to really open up about their feelings towards you and for you, okay? Um, now that we have all the cards out to tell this story, I do feel like this is split. Um, some of you, this is an existing connection, all right? King of Pentacles, I'm sorry, King of Cups with a uh, page of Pentacles. And some of you, this is a brand new connection that is coming in page of wands six of swords okay either way however this plays out in your life it's a wish come true you feel liberated you feel free you feel happy you feel like you're getting exactly what you've wanted okay and over here um if this is already somebody you know this is them coming in to really share their feelings 
for you and offer you more. Okay, so if this is a romantic person, they're coming in and they're like, you know what, I want to give you the world. Will you be mine? Will you be with me? And they're really going to um, be serious in, in what they're saying and what they're offering you. Okay, and if this is a new person, it's like right away, they're like, I don't want to let you go. Like if this is a new romance, they're like um, all about you from like the first moment. Okay, if this is a new friendship coming in, you guys are like two peas in a pod, kindred spirits, and you don't want to like let this friendship go. They don't want to let you go. Okay, so it's all about a relationship for you guys of the positive. A really good new person coming in or somebody who's already existing, like finally being on the same page or finally willing to offer their heart, offer themselves to you. Two of Pentacles. The Star. Ace of Swords. The Sun. Yeah, this is you. All right, this is you getting exactly what you were hoping for around a relationship. Wow, see, look at that. The Six of Swords sitting right on top of this page of Wands. Temperance. And Queen of Pentacles. Okay, for existing relationship, high probability of being water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. New relationship coming in, high probability of a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay, so if this is an existing relationship. This person has kind of been back and forth, back and forth about like commitment, all of that. In the very near future, they're making the decision that they want to commit to you, that they want to be with you, and they're going to really open up and tell you the truth of everything, okay? Again, that comes into that balance of the four elements. That's what they're bringing to you, um, honesty and emotion, commitment, okay? They're very real and what they're going to offer to you. And you've wished for this. You've hoped for this. Okay. Now, if this is a new connection coming in with the Six of Swords um, coming through twice, that is a representation of your energy as well as this new person's energy. And they're new with that page of wands. Okay. But you guys, again, feel like two peas in a pod. Temperance sitting there as well. Like, you guys are just perfectly balanced. Um, your energies are right. Your personalities play off of each other. The conversation never ends. You've had a lot of very similar life experiences. And right away, you're going to feel like you don't want to let this person go. You don't want this person to get out of your life, whether it's a new friend or a new romance, just because of how much you guys click right from the start, right from the get-go. Okay, so for you guys, snapshot of your very near future is all about a relationship and you are feeling liberated you are feeling like you are getting your wish fulfilled the sun that's the best card in the deck feeling very very blessed the angels are opening this person's heart or the angels are help helping facilitate you meeting this new person along with the nature spirits okay and listen okay so for those of you where this is an existing relationship the angels are really encouraging you to give them a moment to speak their truth because they are going to tell you the truth they really are and whatever they say the angels are like, really listen, really hear them out. Don't assume that you know 
even if you've known this person for a long time, don't assume that you know what their truth is because you might be very surprised. Things are going to be revealed to you that you didn't know previously about this person. Okay, so really listen to them and accept what they have to say because they're bringing you the truth. Now, for this uh, new connection that's coming into your life, for those of you where that's how this energy is going to play out, that listen, I feel, is where the conversation just never dies between you guys. It's like there's always more to say. There's always more to talk about. The energy is very beautiful. You guys feel the same for each other. So if this is a romance, it's a mutual instant connection. If this is a friendship, it's like you. this is your new best friend um, right from the start. Okay? So you are being very blessed with a connection in the very near future. Some of you, you already know this person. Some of you, this is a new connection. But your wish is coming true. Whoever this person is, they're like a wish come true. Compassion. Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. How perfect of a message is that after everything we've already received? Discernment. All is not what it seems. Stay true to your knowing. Keep your dreams a secret. Okay, so this right here, this discernment, this is going into the fact of whatever this person that you already know um, has to say to you is stuff that like again is going to be new and that's why you might feel like guarded or oh that's not the truth but it is it is the truth like maybe if they've lied to you in the past that's what this hesitation is about because the angels are really encouraging you to listen to open your heart hear this person out you know and this new person that comes in don't feel like they're too good to be true wow look at that partnership teamwork will give you a better result find trustworthy people to partner with build up a talented support team so yeah this is all about partnerships for you guys um new friend new romance new business partner or an existing person and it's like right from the start whether they're new or somebody you already know there is truth that's going to be told deep soul truth and the angels are encouraging you to hear that and to listen to that and not believe like this person's just full of crap and, and feeding you what you want to hear and not think that this new person is just too good to be true because you're very guarded very protective of your energy because of what you've gone through okay but with this all is not what it seems there's so much that this person has not told you that you don't know about their thoughts their emotions their past just different things going on inside of them and once you hear that it's like everything's going to click into place and finally make sense to you about why certain things played out the way they did with this person okay for those of you where it's a new person, it, it's, I again, it's like you don't trust um, what they're saying because you're like, you know, are you just feeding off my energy? Are you just telling me like what I want to hear because you think that will win you some brownie points, um, you know, things of lo along those lines. And the angels are saying no this new person is a true soulmate to you okay because remember you're getting what you want when it comes to a relationship a wish fulfillment this person coming into your life or what they're saying to you it's like a wish come true and you feel very liberated all right so there's no need to be excessively protective of your energy because this is safe and that's why all of the angels are coming in 
and Archangel Jophiel will say, you know, here is your sign. All these signs and synchronicities around this new person or this person coming back around to connect with you, to work things out, to smooth things out, okay? Um, forgiveness will set you free with compassion. So you're about to get a wish fulfilled when it comes to a relationship, all right? So those are your messages. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello to everybody who chose photo negative number three. Let's get right into your read and see what is coming to you in the very near future. All right. So we have uh, Archangel Zafkil with ecstasy and Archangel Uriel with trust coming in. So, uh, for you guys that chose number three, your very near future, there is a moment that's unfolding that is pure ecstasy, bliss, nirvana, okay? And uh, because it's so good, you aren't going to trust it, okay? But Archangel Zafkil and Uriel are like, no, you need to trust this energy. And they, these two Archangels are going to lead the reading, but also after this reading if you need signs you need synchronicities you're feeling afraid call upon these two archangels okay they will come in they will give you signs they will give you synchronicity but it's like trust the good that that's about to unfold for you guys okay because there's like a, a sense of weariness so let's um let's pull some more cards and uh see what else is going to be revealed here Whoa. Balance, centered energy, self care, and sensitivity and strength, tapping the forces within. Okay. Whatever this goodness is, you are like. No, this is too good to be true. There's no way. You're getting really lost in it. And because of that, it's like you're trying to catch yourself. And you're trying to be strong against the pull of this bliss, of this ecstasy. Okay? This could be a new belief system. This could be a new activity you're doing. This could be a new person in your life. All right? It's just you are trying to resist this at all costs but the angels are like no you don't need to resist this you need to trust it and just accept and dive in it is not too good to be true Right, look at that. We've got the wheel. Well, the fortune's turning in your favor big time. Strength. Three of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. That's you. Eight of Wands. The World. And the Hermit. All 
Right, you have a four major arcana, two at the start of the read, two at the end of the read, and then you've got a ten of pentacles at the center and two wands on either side of that. All right, ten of pentacles, money, abundance, material wealth, okay, um, that's how this is coming through, this ecstasy. And also with the Ten of Pentacles, this is like um, coming together, celebration, unity, generations, okay? The Wheel of Fortune is turning for you, and it's going to be so good. Like, you've waited for this. It's going to be so good and coming in so quickly that, again, it's like it knocks you off balance. And I'm getting money okay a lot of money for you guys like that's what I just keep money 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 um, I feel there may be other things you guys are, are, are inquiring about but man we're gonna pull more cards but that it's like money no and, and money of ecstasy like this is a large sum of money coming to you somehow some way the will of fortune turning for you financially in a it's like the floodgates open up Okay, so, wow. And it, this could be like your dream job. Oh, this is too good to be true. Or if you own your own business, like having the best month you've ever had in your life for profits. Okay, this is big. So let's pull some more cards and go a bit deeper into that energy. You know, also some of you, um, it's like finally not being single anymore. Like a, a relationship coming. And this is like the Ten of Pentacles is speaking of like the long term and the world. And you're no longer going to be hermit, single, alone. Wow, yeah, look at what flipped. Uh, oh, look at, we got... Um, the Page of Swords, I'm sorry, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and uh, the Page of Cups. That's a love offer coming in for some of you, kind of out of nowhere. And um, it may be like uh, a relationship where there's an age gap, okay? Queen of Swords, the Emperor, Eight of Wands, the Sun, yeah, mm-hmm, oh my gosh, get out of town, Eight of Wands on Three of Wands, Eight of Wands with Three of Wands on top, wow, Temperance. And two of wands. See what was one is now two. Okay, oh, and the world is next. I just, and we've got the tower on the bottom. And I'm just going to put that out here because that is exactly how I'm feeling about this read. Is it's just so shocking to you what's coming in? Like it throws you off, and you almost are like, mm, I don't know if I trust this. You know, this is too easy. This is moving too quickly. I mean, two Eight of Wands and then the Three of Wands. I, I don't think I've ever had that in a reading where the same cards, okay? Wow. You've been waiting for this. Your ships are coming in, okay? Many of you, this is around money or a good job, all right? A, an exchange of money. Or this is a relationship um, coming into your life. Okay, because I do see that, and um, for the relationship, I feel um, very strongly of an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Just because um, this particular card sits on the Wheel of Fortune, which is the shifting 
in your fortune, in your energy, and for those of you for a relationship, whether it's a masculine or a feminine coming in, very strong air energy about them, whether that's sun sign, moon sign, or just a lot of um, placement of planets in their chart in air energies, okay? This person is very, very strongly air. And they're going to be interested in you right from the start. It's like, no, I want to give it all to you, okay? Um, a lot of communication back and forth. And this shocks you, like the interest, how fast this person wants to move, everything they want to do, everything they want to give you. And that's why you're freaking out because you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. This is moving really fast. This almost feels too good to be true. Like, what's up? What's going on? And it's not. They're just very taken with you. And you're going to have a lot of fun with this person. And this relationship is a long term. Okay. And when we were solo journey as hermit, now one, there's two. Okay. Now, for others of you, this is not about a relationship at all. It's about money. Okay. Your own business, um, starting a, a different job then where you're at, getting a job if you've been unemployed, um, a business venture idea, money making idea, okay, it's just, it's for you guys, number three, it's a relationship romantically, or it's big time money coming in unexpectedly, shockingly, okay, so much so, again, like, it's like you just, you don't trust the energy, because you're like, this is too good to be true, are you for real? Is this real? Okay, so we have strategy and gratitude. Yes, you're going to be very, very happy, okay? Your money-making ideas paying off, your hard work paying off, your uh, energy and work around uh, manifesting a wonderful romantic relationship, it's paying off. You're just going to be filled with so much gratitude and happiness, like ecstasy. That's where you're at, your bliss, your ecstasy. You're happy. I've waited for this. It all feels right in my world. The world feels in perfect harmony, in perfect balance for you, okay? Because you have the world with temperance. So you feel like this uh, relationship or this money, it really is like the cherry on the top of the cake here. Goodness, why am I making all of this stuff fall? Yeah, I think that's your fear. is like it's all going to fall, the other shoe's going to drop, and... The angels are coming in, Zafkil and Uriel, saying, no, this is meant long term, whether this is money or this is a relationship, it's long term, and it's about to happen for you, okay? With all this wands, energy wands are days. Swords are weeks, cups are months, and pentacles are years, and you've got... It's heavy, heavy wands. Let's see. Wands and wands. Wands and wands. And wands. Your only other minor arcana card that's not a core card is a ten of pentacles. And that's, that's a heavy hitter card. Okay, so this is days from the time you view this reading. All right. Um... maybe 22, 23, 24. I would say within 30 days, within two to 30 days, okay? Just because of all those wands, if we add them all up, it's like 22 days. Actually, I'm sorry, 25 days. Yeah, two to 30 days, and we'll just push it out to 32 to 30 days. This money or this relationship, and my God, for some of you, it might be both. All 
All right, magic. Make a wish. Believe in miracles. Magic surrounds you. Wow. Beloved, prepare for your life partner. Romance is returning to your relationship. Believe you are lovable. Wow. Awareness. Live in the moment. Be cautious of your thoughts. Look for signs and guidance. Oh my goodness. So yes, the angels are going to be just around this money, around um, this relationship, like however this is playing out for you, you are going to get signs and synchronicities to affirm it, okay? And it's beautiful. This is the best read out of all three of them, no freaking question. And I say within two to 30 days, this money or this relationship is in your life. And remember, this is long term. This isn't just going to blow through. This is long term for you. And that's why the angels are saying, trust this. Don't try to resist. Don't look for the negative. Um, don't be, you know, waiting for the other shoe to drop. No, jump in and enjoy the ride. Allow your heart to fill with gratitude because you got the Ten of Pentacles with the Sun and the Tower. That is unexpected blessing. You got magic. Oh my gosh. You guys have a very beautiful future ahead. So those are your messages. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care.